How's it going, everybody? This is Craig Bush Rocks. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to take a look at 10 awesome PlayStation 1 games. I just pulled out 10 random ones right here. I got a whole bunch of them up there, so I just random grabbed some pretty cool games and, and show them to you. But, yeah, I like the PlayStation 1. For a while there, I got rid of a bunch of my PlayStation 1 games, traded them in, so I had to rebuild up my collection. Well, I got most of the games that I'm looking for. There's a couple missing games I, I need to get for all uh, the PlayStation 1. I just realized I don't got none of the Gran Turismo games on the PlayStation 1. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I got them digitally. I'm pretty sure of it. On my PlayStation um, on my PlayStation 3, I probably bought a digital version of it. But, yeah. Other than that, let's just check out these, uh, these games. I probably talked about them in the past, but let's show them. And the first one I got here is Grand Theft Auto, the director's cut. It's got Grand Theft Auto and GTA London 1969. Awesome game. I played the crap out of this back in the day. Not this particular one because I had to rebuy it. <laughs> but yeah, GTA, the original ones were pretty awesome. Um, if you never had a chance to play them, you should try them out. Pretty fun games. But Grand Theft Auto, they're top down. Next one. This was pretty cool when I bought this. <clears throat> this was Spiral of the Dragon. This is a collector's edition. The first Spiral of the Dragon. Iconic game. Awesome. <sighs> I don't have my original one no more. So, yeah. This is pretty cool, though. I like Spiral of the Dragon. It's a sweet game. <clears throat> Next one. I love Doom, so it was great when I got another Doom game on um, PlayStation uh, 1 there, and uh, that was Final Doom. Now, they had other Doom games on, and I, I see a, another one over there, but, but Final Doom was, I think, is probably the, I'm guessing probably the best one out of all of them. Don't quote me on that one, but I always like Final Doom. I don't know if this is my original one or not. But I see a little P on there, so maybe it wasn't. I never would write on my games. Oh, there's cheat codes in here, so I know this one's not my original one. Someone put cheat codes in there. <laughs> Pretty cool. But that was sweet. This one is my original copy, and that is Casper, a haunting 3D challenge. I didn't get rid of this one. This one I kept, I believe. I always liked Casper. This game was pretty awesome. I still got my game saved from my original um from the original game. I kept all and when I got rid of a lot of stuff, I always kept my memory cards. I never got rid of those. But yeah, Casper. Good old 3D adventure. You go around and open up doors and go to different areas. Pretty fun game. And maybe I did um have these originally. Because I don't remember getting rid of Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. This P must have been someone I know I might have bought the games off from. Because it's another uh, little, unless it says P on it. So I might have bought this off from somebody you know, back in the day. But Legacy of Cain was awesome. I, hey, Victor. That's all I can remember about this game right here. <laughs> but pretty cool. Legacy of Cain Blood Omen. Then you got the Legacy of Cain uh, Soul Reaver. Pretty cool game. I remember playing this one back in the day. Awesome. And then we got Castlevania Symphony of the Night. This was one of my buddy's old games. I'm not sure what happened to this guy. If he's, I don't know what, what happened to him. But yeah, Castlevania was a sweet game. It's worth too much money now. <laughs> okay, whatever. But this is the original day one copy of it. I'm going to change the case out here eventually and clean the disc off. Because this is a little dirty, but it's a sweet game. In case it's got much to desire for. Then we got Road Rash 3D. Yeah, I did get rid of my original one because this is a this trader's copy. And this one don't even have the back to it. But... I was glad to get this one back because I always like Road Rash 3D. It's a pretty sweet game. I've always had a lot of fun with it. I always like Road Rash games where you just beat the other drivers down. <laughs> this one was pretty awesome. I, I remember buying this one. 
This one's my original copy. I never got there's some PlayStation One games I didn't get rid of. This is one of them. That was Mortal Kombat Trilogy Exclusive PlayStation Edition. Awesome, awesome game. I love this game. I played the crap out of it. All the character selections. Shio Khan's final attempt to control the earth is upon us. Oh, so cool. I like all the little characters in there. <laughs> what was your favorite PlayStation 1 game? Well, I've got a few of them. Let me know. Comment down below what's your favorite one. Then the last one I'm going to show, I never had the long box version of this game. I had to buy this somewhere else because this game is you know, still rough shape. I bought the, the jewel case version of this game, which is over there. <laughs> <laughs> but I pulled out the long box version. That's Resident Evil. So I never had the long box version of Resident Evil originally. I only had the jewel case version of it, and that was it. But it was great to get this long box. I can't remember where I picked it up at, but I was glad to get it to add it to my collection. But yeah, I bought all the Resident Evil games on the PlayStation. I still got my original Resident Evil games over there, you know, like I said, over there. This is just the long box version of it. But tell me what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Give me a thumbs down if you don't like it. PlayStation One's a pretty awesome system. Like all my games just stacked off to the side over there, going through them. That's what made me come up with just pull out ten random games just to talk about. You know, comment. Like I said, what's your favorite one? Um, subscribe. Getting up there. Share the video with anybody else that might like PlayStation 1 and got to get ready for work. I'll check you all in the next video. Bye.